Okay, so in this example, we're doing minimum spanning trees, and we're going to use Prim's algorithm this time. And so we have the same problem as before. We have an internet cable being laid in the six villages, and the cost is 10,000 euros per kilometer, and we want to find the minimum spanning tree and the estimate cost based upon Prim's algorithm. Well, again, we need to know what Prim's algorithm is. And so with Prim's algorithm, we select any vertex, any vertex and add the edge to the least weight adjacent to it. Then we add the edge of least weight as incident to the tree formed in the first step and does not connect to a vertex already in the tree. We repeat this process until all vertices have been added. So I start here, and I usually start with A, but for illustration purposes, I'm going to randomly start with C. So I'm going to start with C. And so from C, I'm going to do go to B because that is it says go to the least weight adjacent so I'm going to go C to B which is 2 so I'm going from C to B C to B which is 2 now I look at these vertices and I think which one is the shortest one available from B or from C so the fact that they're both 5 means I can choose either one and it doesn't matter which one that I'm going to choose. And so I'm going to go to A this time. So I'm going to go to A and so I'm going A, B is 5. And so now I'm looking at A and I'm looking at C or B and I'm looking at which is smallest of those three that are available. Well, that's going to be A, E, which is 2. And so now I have A, E, which is 2. So now I look, what's the shortest one available from all of these particular scenarios? From these ones here, I have 3, which is E, D, which is 3. So E to D, which is 3. And then finally, I need to get F, and I'm looking from all these outstanding variables that are available, which one is the closest, the shortest one? Well, that's going to be from D to F, which is 3. D to F, which is 3. And if I add these up, you can see that it is equal to 15. So 150,000 euros to lay the village. And this is the minimum spanning tree. Now, if I would have started at E, it would have been slightly different. But it would have been at the same minimum weight at the end. And so I would like to compare these now to Kruskal's algorithm. So here is my spanning tree from C all the way to F. When I look at Kruskal's, I went A to E to D to F to C to B. And so it is a different tree, but the weight is the same at the end. And so both these algorithms are, are what we call greedy. They are greedy in the sense they're greedy algorithms because it always takes the best available option. There are other algorithms that exist. One is called Dijkstra's algorithm, um, but these ones are uh, Prim's and Kruskal's what we're responsible for. Note, I'm showing the steps that I'm going, and I this is the graph of the minimum spanning tree. On an exam, unless you are specifically told to use Prim's or to use Kruskal's algorithm, you can choose, it's up to you. And the last thing I, um, yeah, just reiterate the fact that there are five edges here and six vertices, and then you know that you're done.